welcome to the 8th video in the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. Account management and security in FileMaker is often described as comprised of two components. Firstly, controlling who can get in, and secondly, controlling what they can access. Today we'll be covering managing user accounts, privilege sets and granularity, and extended privileges. As discussed in the previous video, you can access the Account Management window by selecting File, Manage, Accounts and Privileges. The first thing to note is that if this is a new database, no password will be assigned to the admin account. For security reasons, you should probably set one. Initially, only the admin account will exist. FileMaker does not require that this account be called admin, but at least one account with the full access privilege set must be active on your database file. To activate an account, simply check the active checkbox beside the account name. To edit, duplicate or delete an account, simply select the account and choose the appropriate actions from the buttons down in the bottom menu bar. To create a new account, click on the new button. FileMaker will present you with an empty edit account dialog, allowing you to fill in information about the account. The name, password, description and status fields are self-explanatory. The privilege set controls what the user can access. Privilege sets can restrict access to almost all areas of FileMaker, including layouts, records and scripts. At this stage, you should select a predefined privilege set or click New Privilege Set. The more users your database has, the more important it will be to have clearly defined privilege sets. This ensures both security and usability. From a usability perspective, it prevents users from being confused by aspects of your database which don't apply to them. For instance, in our retail example, sales staff should be able to access orders, however do not require access to wholesaler information. To create a new privilege set, select the Privilege Sets tab and then click the New button. FileMaker will display the Edit Privilege Set window. In this window you can restrict access in varying degrees of granularity. To begin with, you should set a privilege set name and a brief description. In this case, we'll be creating a privilege set for sales staff. The Data Access and Design section of the window allows you to restrict access completely or partially to various sections of FileMaker. In the Records combo box, you can also grant complete creation, deletion or editing access, or simply creation and editing access. In addition to these predefined options, you can also define custom restrictions by selecting Custom Record Privileges. You will then be presented with a dialog box that allows you to specify even more granular privileges. By clicking on the table row, you can choose whether to enable or disable Edit, Create, View and Delete access. Moreover, however, you can also specify limited access. A practical implementation of this may occur if you don't want sales staff to be able to delete order items unless they have the delete order privilege. To do this, we'll enable view, edit and create access on the order item table and set the delete access to limited. When you click limited, FileMaker will display a calculation dialog in which you can enter an expression that returns a non-zero value to grant access and a zero value to deny access. We want to rely on an extended privilege, a concept we'll discuss further later in this video, to prevent a user from deleting a record unless they have the delete order privilege. Our calculation uses the get extended privileges function to return a carriage return delimited list of extended privileges associated with the user. It then uses the position function to check if the string delete record is amongst these privileges. The second two parameters pass to the position function to note the index at which to start and the instance, if any, to return. The position function returns the starting position of the text if found, or zero if it wasn't found. In effect, this allows the user to delete the record if they have the delete record extended privilege, otherwise it denies access. The final thing to note about the custom record privileges dialog is that you can also restrict access to specific fields by setting the field access to limited. Click OK to return to the edit privilege set window. Under the extended privileges list box you can associate specific extended privileges with the entire privilege set. This is useful for assigning native extended privileges such as ODPC or XML access, 
but can also be used for assigning custom extended privileges if any exist. Finally, you can specify a variety of miscellaneous privileges, such as printing, by using the controls on the right hand side of the screen. In the previous section, we restricted the deletion of orders to users possessing the delete record extender privilege. Unfortunately, this privilege does not yet exist. To create it, click on the Extended Privileges tab and click the New button. Enter Delete Record as the keyword and a brief description. Assign it to our Sales Stuff Privilege Set. In this case, the calculation we applied to restrict deletion to Sales Stuff is redundant as all sales staff have been assigned the delete record privilege. Nevertheless, the example demonstrates the use of calculations to restrict access. Thanks for watching this installment of the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. We hope to see you again soon.